all right so prime kd is finally here i was hoping for him to be a game changer but as expected it is a prime collection like the three rookie cards you see he is there i kind of thought he would be an 82 overall but whatever here i am so we are going to give you guys some gameplay i did manage to pull one a while ago with the star studded tickets and kept them since then and i bought one for 7 million now he's 12 million so we're giving you guys gameplay, but we're also talking to you guys about the pull rates and stuff like that. So you guys said pull for him. It cost me, I think it was 40 bucks to try to get him. I unfortunately didn't get one from this. I got these two random packs here, like this one here and then this one here, which uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on that because I actually did a pretty crazy star set ticket video. Uh, I digress. Let's go ahead and talk about the odds and everything and talk about the stats as well. So they have been adding some pack probabilities. I wish it would just be in game where the pack is rather than me having to go to the events. I think they're short staff, so they don't have to, I guess, the resources to do that, which is unfortunate because having to click on the event just to see this compared to just being able to click like an info button next to the, I guess, packs or whatever to show the odds would be so much better. But again, I digress. Uh, we go down all the way to the bottom. So you can see this is the odds. So it may feel like it was like predetermined, but because of 98.5% chance to get a normal pull, I think it might be predetermined within those because I feel like everybody has gone 60K gold. And I don't know if anybody's ever pulled any of the legendary on the first poll. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. But you can see the epic is a 1.2 and the legend is 0.2. And after each round is drawn, the previous round will be removed from the prize pool and the high value items drop rate will increase, meaning the legendary and epics will increase. Now, here's my question, okay? What is considered legendary? What's considered epic, right? So obviously this and this is normal, right? And I guess this is considered epic, if I had to guess. Is that is that the choice here? That's the epic one? And then are these all considered legendary? So are you telling me that I have equal chance of getting all of these? I feel like that's a cap, right? I feel like there's definitely odds within odds because on my fourth poll, right, where all the legendaries are even, I got this pack here, which in my opinion feels like it's the worst of all the legendaries because I would have rather gone this or even this, right? You know, obviously I would love to have gone to Kevin Durant, but anyway, Take a look at the stats. Uh, he is six foot eleven in real life. He's like seven foot. Let's be real. So probably one of the tallest, if not the tallest, small forward in the game. Uh, his exclusive is actually insane. He has probably the, like the longest jump, which I'll show you guys in a second. But you can see all the boosts he get. Contested area reduces, and he's got the drive movement. He's also got a mid range boost, shot contest resistance. So you'll see he's gonna hit a lot of contested shots. So let me show you guys how the ability looks. So just a regular dribble, right? You hold it, boom. Look how far he goes. That's like a solid block right and then he has like the i guess the fake so if you go left and then right left and then right that's like a whole fake but i think you can kind of do like a long one right let me just see yeah so really good and then he also has a drag and drive so as soon as you do that move if you hit the crossover button he's gonna drive and then you can just hit a shot so it's actually insane because you can like either drag and then shoot it right away or you can drag and drive and then shoot and then he's got a special ability, right? Uh, let me show you guys it. It's called the one leg fadeaway. So after you do that move, you just hit the step back and then you shoot it. So I found that that is not as useful because it does take a little bit of a setup, right? You do get a bonus from shooting with this ability, but I'm much rather just, you know, get the wide open shot, hit the side step back or hit the drifting shot or any of those shot after the move. Cause I found that this right here, and then he has a hezzy, right? Like. You can get so much distance, right? Like a little crossover, hezzy, and then step back. Like, oh my goodness. Like that is actually incredible. Anyway, let's continue with the stats. And I do want to mention that the field goal boost as well as the shot contest is only on a special move. It's not that much of a boost in the beginning, but it does get a lot better when you get to like rank three. Having a 5% mid range and a 7% contest is actually really incredible. Plus he has a lot of abilities, which we'll talk about in a second that makes him easier to shoot. Now, speaking of ability to shoot, his dominance is tall order, meaning that he can guarantee a shot. There's literally no shot contest, but increases the chance of getting blocked. But he's so tall and the chance of him getting blocked, especially when he's a small forward, he's most likely not getting guarded by the other small forwards that are taller than him. So realistically, he's not getting blocked. And this is actually incredible because the, the block contest reduces a lot. Now that is like almost a guarantee. It's obviously based on open shots, right? So I like to save this a lot of time 
right? If I'm already on a, a tear, I'm already scoring a lot, I'll just keep doing that. But the smart thing to do is save it for like the last shot so you don't get a contested shot to get a game winner if you need it. So this is a really good building. One of the best building in the game, similar to what Clay has. So really good. So stat wise for an 83, it's actually incredible. I know compared to some other players of similar statures, but he's got crazy. Like 618 speed is pretty good for 83 overall. He's got 703 three point, which at base is closer to 688 or something like that because I have a coach. He's got mid range of 819, which is crazy. And then he's got a dunk of 654 and his dribbling is 805. So he can hit the three, but his mid range is his bread and butter. His block is actually fairly high and does get higher. So it actually gets a lot better, but he can get some crazy blocks. So at R2, you can see the badges he has. He does have the floater badge, which is huge. He does have pro dunker as well and a strong finisher, but strong finisher is not that useful in my opinion because you don't really go for layups as double pump layup doesn't help. He does unlock a few other good badges. Euro step is nice and put back dunk. So he does actually get some good put back dunks. Then we look at his shooting badges, really good step back shot and drifting shot are two of really good ones. Unfortunately, only unlocks a fadeaway at R3, which is one of the reasons you might want to get him to R3, but at the cost of getting to R3 is basically 48 million, which is ridiculous. He does get the mid range pull up two height advantage two so those are really useful and he does have post-up jumper if you upgrade that he's actually low-key pretty good at the post fadeaways and later on and he does have the three-point pull-up now also off ball he does have catch and shoot so he can do a lot of catch and shoot and step back so that's actually really nice and he does, he does have a quick start so that's actually really nice to you know time the um I guess the crossovers breakaway artist zone finder uh, nimble crossover. He actually gets nimble crossover three. I think it's at like R R four. So that's actually really nice. So he's gonna get a crazy long step. Pump fake hesitation is bread and butter in this game. Plus he's got first step master, shifty master, glue hat, acceleration master. Passing badges don't expect anything crazy, but he does eventually unlock special delivery at R five, R six, R seven. So at higher ranks he can do some good passing, but he does have pump fake and pass, which I think is one of the better skills to have. Because if you don't have it and you pump fake, you won't be able to dribble, which is kind of unfortunate. It is what it is. Defensive badges, really good. Solid footwork three, which is huge. So it doesn't get crossover as much. Slippery worm one, which you only unlock at R5, which kind of sucks. Quick chase as well. But you get Prince of Pursuit at R5 and R6, which that's when I think he becomes a better defensive monster because he is tall. So he does get a decent amount of blocks. And basically those are all of his badges. He does have some really good scoring badges and on defense, he would be really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at a comparison of the stats. So if you do upgrade him to R3, the reason he becomes better because his three point goes to 749, but also gets more blocking. His blocking going up as well as the defense means he'll be more consistent getting those face to face blocks, which is huge. He also gets first step master three, mid range pull up three, height advantage three, catch and shoot two, and he gets post up jumper two, breakaway R2. So a lot of badges do level up, which is nice. He also gets tough shot finisher, so his fadeaways in addition to unlocking the fadeaway shot becomes better so that's why it becomes a lot stronger and he gets a lot of badges and upgrades as well anyway we're gonna give you guys some gameplay with him honestly i was knocking down some shot he does feel a lot better than an 83 overall like the shots i was hitting felt so consistent it was actually crazy but let me know what you guys think about him i probably will sell him just because he's so much money and i'm much rather build like an r7 of a new player so i don't know we'll see let me know what you guys think anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video like share subscribe see you guys next time peace it's meh to me Jump ball. Okay, he's, he's gonna chuck it up. I can tell. Oh, I get that board. Let me board man get paid. Step back. Cheese. Thank you. The Marshall one clutch player. I don't know, man. Curry's got some pretty nice mo clutch moments. Oh, he cooked me. But yeah, Demar also has a lot of clutch moves. Can I get the ball? Oh yeah, let me cook this guy here. Wide open. Oh my god, it's too easy. Kobe White should have got MIP. I agree. But Tyrese Maxey also. But Tyrese Maxey last year already took a big step. You know what I'm saying? Oh dang. So it's not like it was like anything crazy. Imagine we got that too. That would've been crazy. Good D. I got the board. Hold on. Let's play this guy here. Oh, okay. Never again, bruh. 
that's going in. Oh. Oh my god. Let's see if I screen here, he's gonna use it. Oh, that goes in though. I got the board, I'll take it. Alright, we need this here. Yeah, wide open. Thank you. Woohoo! Bang! That move is so, so good. You did so much distance. Bro. Uh, the freaking the joystick is annoying. I got the board there too. I am insane with this game. Let me hit the tall order real quick. Hit that step back. Wide open. I hit a wide open there. What's the point of using my ability if I'm going to get a wide open? We cooking though. Yeah, still here. Oh. Bro. Yo, this guy does not know how to get blocks. You think you guys have a ball here? Give me the ball, give me the ball. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, okay. Ooh, good moves. Oh, good D. Sing it here. Wide open. Okay, very big. KD is actually kind of nice. We need those crazy baskets here. Nah, your whirlwind don't do nothing here. Give it to me, give it to me. No, 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 please, please, please. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. He's gonna shoot it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that ball, give me that ball. Let me cook, let me cook my man. Let me cook my man. Oh, yeah, wide open. Oh, my God. This off the spin move, step back. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Oh, get that out of here. Oh, my God. Let me hit him with the... Oh, wait. There was a there was a JJJ here. Wait, wait. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wide open. Oh, my God. Too good. GG. KD. Cracked. Katie's cracked at. I don't know. I, I enjoy playing with him so much. 15, 1, and 4.